Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111 here with your midweek energy check-in reading. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to Queen of Light 1111.com. In this reading, we're going to be looking at both masculine and divine feminine's energies as related to each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with divine feminine's energies. We're going to be shuffling live here and haven't done that in a while so I thought you know what let's go ahead and do that if you guys want to book your own personal reading coaching session or healing session go to queen of light 1111.com let's get started divine feminine's overall energy towards divine masculine five of coins out of the woods looking ahead positive changes rebuild acceptance recovery turning point so divine ma divine feminine's overall energy towards her masculine is that things are changing things are shifting she feels like she's finally coming out of the woods and potentially that there are positive changes to occur maybe she feels like masculine is starting to recover starting to rebuild and that potentially you know this connection may come out of the energy of insecurity or even separation what is she thinking when she thinks of masculine knight of wands reckless show off daredevil daredevil volatile arrogant hasty holding a grudge hyper unpredictable and jealous so in her head space she's still very much in the energy that you know yeah maybe there's things and there's shifts and there's changes ahead but at the present moment in her head space she's still thinking that you know what he's still in that player energy he's still reckless he's still showing off maybe he's still posting you know immature things on social media um, maybe still trying to get get attention so it just feels like when she thinks about divine masculine she's like you know dude still arrogant still arrogant what's she feeling in her heart for masculine ace of swords reevaluate misinformation clouded judgment hostility block communication so in her heart i feel like you know she, there's still no communication between the two you know there is a um energy here where it just feels like you know there's um a lack of clarity of what truly is happening so overall while there is a turning point that she is experiencing it could very much be that the turning point has to do with feminine she's pulling herself out of the woods she's pulling herself out of this energy of loss and breakup okay because in her headspace it just feels like she still feels he's arrogant she still feels that you know um he's unpredictable he's in and out when she feels for him in his in her heart space she feels like there's still blocked communication that there isn't they a breakthrough just yet and again remember this energy of um, overall looking ahead so it could be that things are starting to shift but that the present moment not quite her environment as related to masculine Queen of Cups, so emotional imbalance, fostering codependence, melancholy, irrational, gullible extremes, wallowing, imbalanced. What do we have here? Bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So she is in this energy. Okay, let's do this recap here. With this bottom of the deck, she is focusing on her own self awareness. She is re engaging in her journey right so maybe there was this energy of feeling there were missed opportunities things were not resolved with masculine but she's like you know what i need to be proactive i need to focus i need to seize the day i need to take part of my journey again so therefore she starts to look ahead she looks ahead starts to make positive changes she's rebuilding she's recovering things are changing when she thinks about her masculine she still feels that perhaps you know, he's still in the energy of being a player, still in the energy of holding a grudge, still in this energy of his arrogance in her heart. There's a lack of clarity. There's blocked communication. 
You know, maybe she still feels that she needs to reevaluate this connection and in her environment. Yeah, there's, it just feels that there's an emotional imbalance. You know, she's really looking and evaluating and is self-aware about where she is irrational, where maybe she has been imbalanced, where she may have been codependent. So it just feels like divine feminines, like, you know what? I am starting to understand what is making me unhappy? Who makes me unhappy? Who contributes to or lends to the energy of codependence? She's starting to see what she's attached to, where she needs to adjust, where she needs to recover, where she needs to rebuild. So feminine is very much in this energy towards masculine right now, where she is engaging back in her own journey, getting her enthusiasm for life again, and really seeing that once she connects to masculine, there's still an in and out energy. There still isn't communication. And frankly, there are some codependencies and imbalance and melancholy that connecting to masculine brings in. Now remember, if this person is truly your twin, that's a mirror. This masculine is displaying something to her, showing something to this feminine that she needs to heal. So that's what the twins do, right? That's what the counterpart does. They reflect back the energies, the behaviors that need to be addressed and healed. So he is showing his feminine that she needs to seize the day again, have enthusiasm for her life again, rebuild again, recover, look ahead again, have this zest for her journey again. And he's showing her through this energy of being reckless. As he's reckless, she is starting to see that, hey, you know what? Maybe I wasn't seeing clearly. Maybe I'm attached to something. So he's showing her something about herself by way of his own behaviors. Let's take a look at Divine Masculine's energies. We have the Messenger of Earth. Okay, so we have here bottom of the deck, unveiled mental clarity. It's the moon in reverse, releasing fears and anxiety, hearing and trusting intuition. So divine masculine, you know, I feel like this full moon that has just passed has really assisted this divine masculine in gaining some clarity, reconnecting to his higher self, reconnecting to his intuition and actually listening and trusting the voice within. His overall energy towards his feminine messenger of earth, it's this energy where he feels it's a missed opportunity. When he is in his overall energy towards his feminine, he knows that because he didn't follow through, right? Because he didn't follow through, because he didn't have a strategy, because he didn't do the work, that he potentially missed an opportunity with his divine feminine. When he thinks of his feminine, he's in the magician's energy, resourceful creator. He's really thinking about what he wants to manifest when he thinks of his feminine. He's using his intellect. He's using his logic. He's using some mastery. He's starting to see that his immaturity created this missed opportunity. And so now when he thinks of his feminine, he knows that he, want, he needs to be in the energy of his willpower and take action in his heart space for feminine self-love he's reflecting again tuning into his intuition taking care of himself he's filling his own cup 
He's repressing and holding back his feelings for feminine because finally he's filling his own darn cup. He has to learn how to love himself before he can share love with anyone else. So I love that for him. And in his environment, challenge the status quo. He's freeing himself. He's freeing himself from the status quo. He's in this energy where he knows he's made unconventional life choices. He wasn't playing by the rules. He wasn't following tradition. So it could very well be that he is releasing relationships even because he just wants freedom. Let's go ahead and take a look at any karmic energies for masculine get another deck out and let's take a look about the karmic energies Oh my goodness, lots of fives for this karmic connection. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck and it's in the upright. Let's see, when the five of swords comes out, let's see what it says in this deck because I just want to give you guys some more context. But typically when I read the five of swords, five of swords is all about that energy of um, nobody wins. It's that energy of... Look at right here, five of swords. It's this energy of hostility, defeat, conflict, self-sacrificing, plot twists, abusive. So the bottom of the deck for this karmic connection is there's hostility. No one's playing by the rules here. There's hostility, there's defeat, there's conflict in this connection. When he thinks of this karmic, what is he thinking? Five of Pentacles. Remember, we've got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for Divine Feminine and her overall energy towards masculine. So where she's coming out of the woods, this connection is going into separation. His overall energy towards the karmic is rejection, turmoil, alienate, harsh conditions, financial ruin, loss, change, breakup. Right? So there's recovery here for Divine Feminine as related to her masculine. But as related to the karmic situation, masculine's overall energy towards the karmic, there's a potential breakup here. That's his overall energy. What's he thinking when he thinks of the karmic? The lover's card. The lover's card isn't just about, you know, divine connections. It's about choices, right? When he's thinking of the karmic, he's thinking about love. He's thinking about duality. He's thinking about choices. He's thinking about harmony. He's thinking about this relationship. He's thinking about his choices and relationships. What's he feeling in his heart for this karmic? Look at this five of cups in reverse. He's no longer sitting in self-pity. Woe is me energy. He's no longer sitting in that energy of the five of cups. So when the five of cups is in reverse, he's releasing that. He's releasing his victimization. He's releasing the energy of woe is me. Oh, I've missed my union. I've missed the two of cups. Right? It's about overcoming. It's about letting go. It's about moving on. And sure enough, 
what's his what's happening in his environment as related to the con uh, to this uh karmic he's moving on he's overcoming hardship he's not staying in that five of swords energy anymore that's at six of swords right So here we have the energy where, and, and didn't I say, I felt like I said this in the members reading, like six is the month of harmony. We have all these fives here, five of swords, five of pentacles, five of cups. What we don't have is the five of wands. And that's because feminine and no one is, is externally intervening here in this connection. This is for masculine to figure out. And what he's figuring out is this connection is filled with hostility and defeat. When he's thinking about this, when his overall energy towards this connection is, I want to isolate myself. I want to get out of this connection. I want to reject this connection. When he's thinking about this connection, he's thinking, yeah, this is a soul connection. Yes, this was a union, but I have a choice to make. And what's the choice in his heart? That I need to move on. Then I need to forgive myself. I need to forgive others and I need to move on. Because there's better things ahead. It's time to transition. Look, six, six and six with two, three fives and two sixes. He's overcoming conflict change. And he's moving on to alignment with himself first and then to his partner. And didn't I say in his environment as related to feminine, breakups are happening. And sure enough, that's what we're getting here. Breakups are happening in that karmic connection. All right, everybody, join me on the King of Shadows 1111 YouTube channel, and we'll get some messages from Divine Masculine. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day.